Hello everybody and welcome back to F1 Manager 2022 where we have Fernando Alonso and Valtteri Bottas challenging for the World Constructors Championship-ish. We're 60 points off Red Bull, which actually, in terms of F1, isn't actually that much. We're in a very good position. Um, third by just under 20 points, so it's actually not as comfortable as I thought. But uh, it's, it's George Russell is keeping Mercedes in this one. He is easily outperforming his teammate Daniel Ricciardo. But uh, yeah, both Aston Martin drivers doing very well. Fernando Alonso is seven points off Charles Leclerc in second, which is absolutely bonkers. And um, it's been going very, very well this season, hasn't it? It's been going very, very well. In terms of the car, uh, in terms of development, we are researching some new side pods and we are, well, we're manufacturing some new side pods actually, but we are researching everything for next year's car. We're going to see how best, well, how best, that is terrible English, how well we can get next year's car performing. So I'm very excited by that one. We could do a few more projects for this year's car, but I feel like it's performing really well and we probably don't need to change it. Uh, Fernando Alonso still isn't negotiating a new contract, which is very irritating. I think he literally just wants to retire. I've tried everything. I've tried one year, two year, giving him more money. But I think with Valtteri Bottas, he's starting to perform really well. We're paying him a lot of money. He can step up to car one. Car two, we may go and look for a new driver. Uh, we may promote Filip Drugovic to see how he can do. He's been in the Aston Martin Driver Academy, we'll call it, for quite some time. So we've got to put faith in him at some point. And uh, yeah, we've got some scouts out looking at new drivers and everything like that. It would be really cool to have like a re new gen, regen. A even a female would be quite cool, to be honest. I, I, I clicked on her as an accident. But let's um, get detailed scouting because we like to have all of our scouts pretty busy. If we go to age then... So, Nicholas Paris, although we would call him Parry. Uh, Giancarlo Lombardo is an amazing name. Give him a scout. That is an amazing name. Um, Zednak Shavanek is an amazing name as well. Get a detailed scouting on him. I mean, let's just go for names. We could just bring a youngster in whose names. The other thing is, if we do win the World Driver Championship, are we going to... Enzo truly is a real person. Are we going to... Uh, stop the save, or do we go for it trying to do different things, to be honest? Uh, these are the original sort of youngsters that came through, the female ones we looked at. Carmen Romero is actually up to 61, so she is improving quite a lot. Uh, Ruth Ashworth at 21 years old is a 60 rating, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know, can you see nationality? Can you see nationality at all? I don't know if you can see nationality. I feel like that's something that you should be able to see if you wanted to bring in like English or British regens. That would be quite uh, quite interesting. And uh, Taya Dawood is a 54 rated female driver as well. She is in F3, giving it a go, which is awesome. But yeah, we'll have to see uh, how this goes. If you know how to see nationality, please do let me know in the comments. But today we're going to be racing at the Circuit Zandervoort out in Belgium. No, in Holland. So uh, yeah, we'll set our race targets and then we'll get into that qualifying position we will get both drivers into q3 thank you very much we'll get both drivers into q2 thank you very much ah talking of qualifying while i'm doing the rest of this we saw or actually i figured out why i watched the video back why both drivers got kicked out of qualifying they couldn't pit because of the traffic so the pit lane entry was blocked, so they had to go around and try and do another lap, which meant they ran out of fuel. So that is why, um, yeah, that is why they got disqualified, basically, from qualifying. They set their lap and then couldn't do another one. So, yeah, I figured it out. So you've got to be, you have got to be careful to make sure you're not in loads of traffic around the pit lane when you need to come in. So interesting to know, isn't it? An interesting one to know. Anyway, let's get into the Dutch Grand Prix. We'll go to the race weekend. I'll do practice. We'll be back for qualifying. Practice complete and uh, not amazing. 87% confidence for Fernando, 85 for Valtteri, which is the best we got. We Yeah, we couldn't really nail it for Valtteri Bottas. Fernando... Looked pretty good. We've got a couple of optimals in there, but yeah, braking stability could cause a bit of an issue. But uh, yeah, we need to get the new engine components into the car now that we got these in the last race. Took the took the punishment and the penalties and then came out with a very good performance from both drivers anyway. So if you didn't go in that, go check it out. It was a good, a fun Grand Prix to be a part of. But uh, right now, we'll just get all these lovely components into the car for both drivers which should allow us to very much attack the Dutch Grand Prix here. Um, 
yeah, we should both get in the top 15. Let's get into qualifying. So we're going to go out early doors and set a banker lap like we know we love to do. No slipstream for them. Let's uh, get out there and see what we can do. Hopefully we get to start our lap. Yes, we do before anyone else comes out, which means we'll have a free entry into the pit lane. Um, hopefully. Anyway, as Bottas goes top, Alonso goes second, both setting some uh, reasonably good times, actually. A lot of people sitting in the pit. Signs goes faster. Wow, okay, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting signs to be faster than us on that first lap. So three minutes, 20 seconds left to go. We are quicker than both uh, Red Bulls, though Verstappen must have hit some traffic. But Ferrari must have bought an upgrade. They are one and two in this, which is something we haven't seen for a pretty long time in this series, having a Ferrari on number one and number two. It is only Q1, but um, yeah, if that's an indication, and if, that's an, if Perez is an indication of the Red Bull pace, then we are quicker than the Red Bull with both drivers. So it's going to be interesting it's going to be very interesting i think we're safe so i was just about to say we'll send them out and then lewis hamilton had to go and go didn't he and ruin the fun of us being the first people out but it will we, 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 get my words out we'll be safe we'll definitely be safe in uh in q1 we'll probably be safe with these times i necessarily don't have to go again but we will we'll, we'll go out again and see what we can uh what we can do in terms of times we may have actually left that to oh no we're not going to be too late because we're not even right at the back of the queue but uh, let's see, just now, we, if we improve our times on used tyres, Hamilton not improving, Verstappen and Perez both improve. So there you go, they go to the top of the pile. Verstappen, Perez, Leclerc, Bottas separates the two Ferraris, Sainz and Alonso up there in sixth as well. Charles Leclerc is going to be getting a grid penalty, which is lovely. I was going to say something like harsh, but no, it's absolutely lovely to see that one of the Ferraris is getting a grid penalty. Although, if that means he's taking new components, then that could be an issue for us during the race. Right, we're going to go and get them both out. See if the slipstream does create a difference here. Look at the slipstream that Fernando Alonso will be getting from Valtteri Bottas. Will it give him a faster time around Zandvoort? No, it won't. It won't. Verstappen goes quicker. So Verstappen is uh, looking very pacey. That Red Bull, it must have been a bit of a deception. In, uh, in Q1, to be honest, the fact that we beat them both. Signs goes up there again. So, yeah, not too much to worry about. It probably, probably fifth and sixth, I'd say. Right, three minutes and 20 seconds left to go. Uh, I think we're going to go out early and get our, get our laps done, put them in before anyone else is there. Hopefully we haven't gone so early that we then hit traffic on the way back, but uh, let's wait and see. We need, yeah, there we go. Everyone's going to start coming. So we've gone a little bit early. But uh, we're not going to catch everyone up, or are we? Maybe we are. No, we're not. We've timed that perfectly. Uh, Alonso doesn't improve. Bottas up to second. So uh, Bottas setting a good time. Alonso struggling. Alonso is struggling with this one. Um, yeah, Alonso's in sixth. Bottas up in second. He is getting a lot of pace out of this car. Ultimately, though, uh, Max Verstappen has topped P1 and P2. So I would imagine he will top P3 in this session as well. Uh, we've got... Yeah, let's go out. Let's go out. Let's give him a bit of uh, a bit of distance as well this time, as uh, Alonso will leave the garage, and then we'll get signs out there. That uh, signs Bottas out there. That will give them both a bit of uh, a bit of fresh air. As Verstappen is trying to get a bit of toe off uh, Bottas, which I don't think he's going to get. Bottas has to just dodge some traffic on his fast lap out. Alonso has gone quicker. So Alonso, yeah, okay. The slipstream could be affecting us here. It looks like it's going to be a a, a track where slipstream is not what you want. You don't want to be caught behind another driver. Perez goes quickest, but it's Alonso in second, and this time Bottas in ninth. So Bottas's traffic obviously causing a little bit of a headache for him. So we, it's going to be crucial to get these timings right as everyone else just starts going out. So we've got Perez leading the way from Leclerc, then Russell... Then uh, who have we got behind him? Verstappen. Then Norris and Ocon. I mean, there's not that many people left for the last run in Q3. There goes Gasly. There goes Sainz. Right, let's get Bottas out with a bit of bit of air to go. And then when he hits that corner, we should be fine to do Alonso there. So let's get them doing their, their laps. Is Alonso going to make this? He should make this. Yes, he does. Right, let's... Because uh, Bottas... We've got these guys right at the back. So Verstappen improves and goes quickest. Leclerc is currently still in second. 
Perez is fourth. Alonso, Perez third. Alonso fourth. So if he can improve, he could jump over Perez or Leclerc. Bottas currently in ninth. Sainz is just going to be finishing his fast lap. Gasly crosses the line. Gasly does improve and jumps up to sixth. So it does suggest the track is getting quicker. Uh, Sainz jumps up to fourth. Bottas now is just about to come round the final corner into the home straight. And uh, Valtteri Bottas... What is he going to have as he crosses the line? Valtteri Bottas jumps up to fourth. Lovely stuff from Valtteri Bottas as Alonso. Now coming around the final banked corner of Zandvoort. What can Fernando Alonso do? Fast speed cornering from Fernando. Can he jump up above Leclerc? No, he can't. He stays in sixth. Alonso only just improves. So it's going to be Bottas who's going to be the better placed drivers of the Aston Martin up in fourth. Alonso sixth. I predicted 5th and 6th. We've got 4th and 6th. I'll take it. So there you have it then. Verstappen topped the times in Q1, Q2 and Q3. Charles Leclerc uh, gets 2nd, but he's going to get a grid penalty, so everyone will be bumped up. Sergio Perez will make it a Red Bull 1-2. Valtteri Bottas will be 3rd on the grid. Alonso will be bumped up to 5th on the grid. So lots to play for. Okay, then into the strategies. Always a bit I love. I do. I say it every time, but I do love it. So let's pick that one to start. We've got one second slower, three seconds quicker. A two stop is three seconds quicker, apparently, at the moment. There isn't too much tire wear around Zandervoort. So, I mean, that's saying that is pretty quick. It's, I think it's just a general case of be on the softs for as long as you possibly can. Yeah, it's saying medium to hard. I wonder if you can can you do a can you do soft meat can you make a soft medium work here no <sighs> no you cannot so it is unless we can get the medium to hard a me it's annoying isn't it right because the ideal strategy would be medium medium because i bet i guarantee you medium medium makes it yeah it does interesting okay so add a new stint what if you end on the softs is that going to be any quicker? No. It can get it th within three seconds. The mediums and pushing is zero. Really pushing is quicker. What if you come off that and push? No. Okay, so really pushing on the mediums is the quickest at the moment. So that is the quickest that we've come up with at the moment. That is adding time. That is adding time. That, so we, we had it nailed on. That is the quickest you can get at the moment. Okay, going soft, medium, soft then. That is not quicker. That is not quicker. None of that is quicker. Okay, none of that is quicker. Medium. Okay, getting on the softs there is quicker. Pushing those mediums is quicker. Right. So then you get one second there. So that now is the quickest. What have we got? No. Okay, that is the optimal lap for a two-stop. To go soft, medium, soft. I, I, I do like it. I just feel like a two-stop is very risky. It's very risky. Softer hards is completely out. That's like seven seconds slower. We've got two two two-stop strategies here. And this one doesn't look like it can get any quicker. Unless we push those mediums to start. Go on the softs a little bit quicker. No, I think we found our strategy. I think it is strategy B. Strategy B. Strategy B is what we'll go with. Soft, medium, soft. Uh, with Valtteri, we could put Valtteri onto the one stop. Just get it done, right? One stop, keep him out, get him out in front, see how it works, see how he does, mix it up if we need to. So that's one second quicker. But do we do we split it and do a one stop for Valtteri and a two stop for a Fernando? I mean, Valtteri's in a good position at the front of the race. He certainly is. I mean, it's saying that is still two seconds quicker. And we know we can push the mediums in here and get onto the softs as well. Four seconds quicker. I mean, it's worth it's worth doing that, I think. So that's still quicker. That's quicker. It's just messing around with the the lap pitting time. Again, that is optimal. So soft, medium, soft. Is that exactly what Fernando's doing? Soft, medium, soft. Yeah, it's ex uh, so Fernando is lap 25 and lap 42. And Valtteri is going a little bit further on the softs. Lap 26. One more lap coming in on lap 43. So... That should work. That should work. Am I expecting a safety car in Zandervoort? I don't think I am, so we'll overfuel the car by a lap just so that we get a little bit of push option. And I think the tyres, we're going to have to keep an eye on them, but 
we'll see we'll see how we do no there's no real given either right let's get into the dutch grand prix here we go then lovely day in holland in zandvoort here uh doesn't look like any rain is due red bull front and center but we have two aston martins behind each other which is awesome to see let's be honest uh right let's get on board with fernando alonso who's sitting behind his teammate valtteri bottas he's already gone a little bit wide there bottas securing third we need to make these soft tyres count. It looks like the Ferrari's on mediums next to us as Alonso does get up there. Is he going to have a go at his teammate? I think Val uh, Valtteri Bottas could be in trouble here. Fernando Alonso loves an early overtake. He really does. As uh, we're keeping pace with the Red Bulls, who are on mediums as well. Okay, it's going to be a battle of strategies. I'd say both of those drivers are doing a one-stop strategy. So we sort of need to get in front of them and make uh make make it work or we sit off and we push when they come into pit as uh, the ferrari coming back at us a little bit it looks like fernando should hold on to this position and does always oh, valtteri bottas going up the inside of sergio perez can he make it stick i think he can great work from valtteri bottas there he's gone a little bit wide but coming around the bank corner is that Red Bull just... Oh, Valtteri literally disappeared into the wall. That's uh, always a worry when you see that. But three wide in Zandvoort coming down the home straight. The fans would love to see that. Valtteri up on the inside. But Perez sneaks through with a bit of late break-in. Valtteri still trying to keep that inside position. Verstappen goes defensive. Go on, Valtteri. Go on, Valtteri. He's through. I thought he was going to have attack at Max Verstappen there. But he's not quite got it done. Right. We'll keep on deploy. Alonso can go up into overtake, actually, because he can try and make a, a move. But we need Valtteri to keep on pushing uh, Verstappen, to be honest. So Valtteri trying to have a go. We're up into second and fourth. I can't really argue too much. We, and we're putting a lot of time behind us with signs as well, which is very good to see. As Valtteri Bottas is going for the lead of the Grand Prix in Belgium. Max Verstappen's home Grand Prix. And I think Bottas is in front. He is in front. Max Verstappen's going to have another go at him, but Valtteri Bottas is in front, and Valtteri, you need to go now. You need to absolutely go as fast as you can, to be honest, um, because, yeah, Max Verstappen's pace is going to be absolutely crucial, and we can't really allow him to get back into this one. DRS is going to be activated on this lap, which is going to hurt Bottas, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. we'll see how it goes. Okay, lap eight. We've uh, given the lead back to Verstappen so that we could charge some battery up for Bottas, which he's done. But we're going to try. We've got basically Fernando Alonso up to full battery. We're going to try and get him to make a move pretty soon on Sergio Perez. It's just very difficult uh, at Zandvoort. It's definitely not the easiest track to overtake on. So we need Fernando Alonso to be very, very close and then make a move. As you see, it's about half a second off Perez at the moment. Valtteri Bottas is allowing just DRS to pull him along with Verstappen, which is good. It's just, is the two-stop strategy going to hurt us here? We need to be able to come out in clear air and have a really good go. If we just jump on board with Bottas, you can see the DRS pulling him along nicely, but can't quite have enough to get it done on that first turn. That's where we need Alonso to be very close to Perez uh, and then get that done on that uh, on that turn, basically. Is what we need. But it's looking pretty good for Aston Martin. Second and fourth at the moment. Sainz is a little way behind us. He's sort of dropping off the pace a little bit. Let's see if Alonso can get something done here. Because if we can get both drivers past, then that would be very, very helpful. Because again, we could ask Valtteri to have a go as well. Coming into these sort of sections. But sitting here, charging up our battery, I don't mind too much. We can get a bit of a fuel saving done for... Alonso as well, but uh, Alonso having a look at Perez, he comes in to defend. Bottas having a look at Verstappen, who also comes in to defend. Although I think Valtteri Bottas is once again past the the Dutchman, but uh, we'll have to wait and see because there's going to be another DRS zone coming up. Verstappen gets the position back, and that is the issue at the moment. In terms of tyre wear, 76, 77, 84, 85. We're not we're not doing too badly. In terms of tyre wear, Fernando Alonso having a little look up the inside of Sergio Perez. Can't quite get that done. But uh, I don't mind leaving him on, leaving him on it. We, we know you can charge a battery up quite easily around Zandervoort without losing too much time. Uh, Signs has dropped off from the leader, but he's still just on our table. 
which is a, a little bit irritating. Alonso, try and have another look. Just sitting on overtake for the battery just to see if he can get something done, but doesn't quite get it done here. He's still having a look, but I think the natural speed of the Red Bull is very much getting it sorted. From there, although Alonso's straight up the inside of Sergio Perez, gets it done. He just needs to make this one stick. There is Perez coming back at him. But with the DRS, we should pull away on the softer tyres as well. All right, we can have two cars now having a go at Max Verstappen. So let's get Valtteri there. Oh, Sergio Perez is still just being very irritating on here. We have the inside on this corner, the long bank, which should help us out quite a bit. We'll pop into Harvest because we're going to get DRS, which will keep the pace. And uh, Valtteri can just sit behind Max Verstappen at the moment and charge up his battery, so not deploying anything, which is lovely. Right, second and third on lap 11. We're in a good position. Okay, I think on this lap, we're just going to ask Bottas to absolutely send it and see what he can do, see if he can get past Verstappen with doing a full push on a lap. And you know what? I think we're going to get Alonso to do it as well and see if we can at least break break away from Perez and drop that DRS from these three. If we can isolate Max Verstappen, we'll be in a cracking position to make something happen. So we'll have a look here. Bottas having a look. He's going to get past Verstappen. We did have a lot of battery to play with with Verstappen, which is very, very helpful. Um, Alonso just needs to do it now. Then we get both of our drivers in front of the Red Bulls because, we again, we're going to pit a lot earlier than they are. So we need to make our time count while we're in front. Bottas not really pulling away from Verstappen as I would have liked and we can't really push too much on the tyres either but uh, we are dropping Perez which is good as Alonso's having a look on that inside go on if you can stick it in oh his battery's just run out at the crucial moment maybe pushing it a little bit too hard as uh, he's still hanging on in we can definitely charge up a little bit we've dropped Perez completely so we can charge up on Harvest because we're about to get DRS so you can drop into neutral we haven't shaken Verstappen but uh, we have got one car in front which is which is good for us which is good for us as uh, Bottas can just hold him up we could probably ask Bottas to defend and then or hold cars up and try and get Alonso past as well and have a 1-2 but I don't think that's quite going to work at the moment so we'll, we'll be back in a sec only about 7 laps no about 10 laps till we pit ok I just want to have a think I'm just sort of thinking here I don't know if we can get the one stop off the softs. No, we can't. So we're committing. Oh, that's although that's them pushing hard. Um, we can do a one stop on the softs. It's going to be seven seconds slower. I'm just sort of ha potentially having one driver matching the Red Bulls is going to be very handy. The hards are a lot slower. They're a lot, lot slower. But... Doing a one-stop with one driver could be very helpful. And I sort of feel like we're going to have to. And it is going to be Fernando Alonso that does that change of strategy onto a one-stop. So his aim now is to just carry on getting pulled along by these two. He is losing pace to the drivers in front in Verstappen and Bottas. Verstappen's pace is pulling Bottas along. But uh, Fernando Alonso can't quite keep up. And it's proving to be... A little bit troublesome because Perez is obviously right behind us. But uh, yeah, Perez and Verstappen are just battling. I think we keep with Bottas on the faster strategy, but risk him in terms of pitting and coming out in traffic. It's such a short lap that once you're in front, there's not enough time to actually pull away. Right, Alonso is being left behind here, so he's going to have to deploy and catch up. And it's also such a short lap, you can watch it on two times speed and you're pretty much done um, at, a good, at a good enough time there we go so Alonso has caught up to these guys which is good we needed him to be right on the back so that he can get pulled along as uh well I don't, yeah, I don't mind Verstappen overtaking Bottas and getting into first it's about the long game in this Grand Prix so Fernando Alonso on lap 21 is really struggling for pace Perez has passed him and nearly broken DRS already there's not much we can do we can ask him to push I'm now thinking we completely change the strategy i think our tires are getting to a point now where we can't keep up with those medium tires um so it's going to be very interesting to see what we do bottas is doing a great job of sitting up there he hasn't got long until he comes into pit so now i'm thinking do we bring 
do we potentially bring in Alonso on back onto this strategy, but get him onto the mediums a lot? Six seconds quicker, that's saying now. So, yeah, we do. We do that with... Uh, is it saying? Yeah, it is. That's saying six seconds quicker if we pit earlier onto the medium. So we'll do that. What is Bottas uh, on this one? If you come in later on them, no, that's no different. Okay, so for Bottas, it's saying there's no there's no pace improvement. So he can stay as he is. That's fine. But yeah, Fernando Alonso, we're going to get him in onto those medium tyres. I love the fact you can see the tyre deck. I hope that comes through in the video. But, um, yeah, I've got a feeling. Let's get uh, Alonso pit options onto a fresh set of mediums. Because the other thing with Alonso is we can go medium, medium if we need to, if we need to push. So Alonso comes in to the pit lane very early on, much earlier than expected. A little bit of a double think of strategies and stuff. But hopefully this puts... Oh, look at all the pit crew out. So maybe a few other people are coming in on this lap. They are. Okay, we've sort of matched inadvertently a lot of the other teams coming in. Albon, Vettel and Hauger all coming in, which is going to bring us out in less traffic, which is quite good, to be honest. 24 seconds, so that's what we've got to remember for Valtteri Bottas when he comes in. As Alonso is now out, and uh, Alonso can push on these tyres until he comes off them. So, okay. I quite like that. I quite like the fact that we checked Bottas to see if he was uh, faster by coming in early, but he's not. Alonso is out on fresher tyres, should start making up some pace. He pitted just, he was behind Perez, nearly a second behind Perez. So that's what we need to, that's the time we need to make up. It's going to be very, very tough indeed. When was the uh, report, circuit report, uh, expected strategies, medium pitters come in on 28 to 34. So around lap 28, we should see Perez and Verstappen come into pit. So basically we need to be back up by... Verstappen and Perez when they come into pit because obviously we're then going to have another pit stop so yeah let's see um let's see how this one unfolds at the moment Bottas is hanging on to the back of Verstappen which is good um he obviously both drivers still on a two-stopper yeah I mean his tyres are dying off a little bit which means Perez will probably have an attack at him relatively soon but uh, if we go so 23 seconds brings us out behind Alonso just in front of Ricardo if we were to pit right now. So not terrible. It's not terrible. And we'll get some free air, which we could attack. So, yeah, we're in a good position. We're in a good position. Nothing to worry about. Aston Martin doing well. Okay, this is Valtteri Bottas' his last lap before coming into pit. And he has lost DRS to Max Verstappen, who is absolutely gunning it. He's having a great drive. Is, uh, is old Maxi boy, and um, he is out in front and probably should win this Grand Prix quite easily. Alonso is closing the gap very considerably um, to the drivers in front, so he shouldn't be too far off getting DRS and then potentially overtaking those drivers with ease on his fresher tyres where we're pushing him a little bit. But uh, yeah, Valtteri Bottas, we're now asking him to push. He's coming into lap, uh, coming to pit on this lap. He's probably going to be a bit of a sitting duck for Perez and Sainz. We'll have to wait and see. Magnussen comes into pit. Um, yeah, Alonso having a doing a very good job of it back here to be honest but Bottas's tyres are pretty much gone and dead so we need to get him into the pits and get him onto those fresh set of tyres make a challenge he'll come out 27 he'll come out behind Alonso smack in the middle of that fresh air between Alonso and Ricardo. so not too bad bringing him out in fresh air will do him uh, will do him the world of good he's down to 36% tyres so 35% tyres it has Really uh, pushed his tyres pretty hard. Alonso is now getting DRS on the back of Stroll as well. So he's caught up to Stroll and Ocon, which is good. As uh, Here comes Valtteri Bottas. We need a good pit stop here, boys. We need a good pit stop. The closer we can come out towards Alonso and not Ricardo, the better. That would be uh, amazing. As there is Valtteri Bottas. And he goes onto his medium tyres. He is going to come out of here and ready to go. Well, oh, see, he's going to come out near the battle. Yeah, he's just gonna have to. He's still got his pit limiter on, so he's gonna come out a little bit behind it. But again, he should be being drawn up towards that DRS train and not too far away. So we'll keep him pushing. Let's save a little bit of fuel with Alonso for now. Right, let's have a look at Fernando Alonso. He's having a go at Lance Stroll. What a time to come back that is, as he's looking to potentially do a double move here. He gets past Stroll and he's on the back of Ocon. 
As Fernando Alonso, look at this pace from the Aston Martin. He's doing really, really well. Can he get up the inside of Esteban Ocon? No, he can't. But Esteban Ocon on softs again. Wow, okay. Ocon, you know, he's still on the same softs. They're doing the soft to hard strategy, I would suggest. So Alonso needs to clear these guys pretty sharpish. So get up into overtake. Get it done with the DRS uh, and then pull away. And you need to make up those three seconds to Lando Norris in front of you. Where is Valtteri Bottas in all of this? Two seconds off Lance Stroll, but he should make up that pretty quickly as well and be able to get that done. So Fernando Alonso has got a lot of fresh air in front of him. He needs to get some moves done to uh, get back up into this pace. As Ocon and Stroll both come into pit. So let's push Bottas now and try and get this done. Um, Alonso, we could ask him to use up all of that fuel, the rest of his spare fuel and use that to close the gap because this is a crucial point this is crucial Verstappen and Perez will be coming into pit soon I think okay Fernando Alonso has caught this DRS train so now we can get him to just sit in there harvest up his battery because this is the train that's behind Leclerc so all of these guys should pit at a pretty similar time their tyre wear is all pretty similar so if we can if hopefully they all pit on the same lap although they won't because the, I don't think the computer will double stack these drivers so Harvest up a bit of battery. Hopefully Bottas catches up as well and we can do a similar tactic with him. We can actually get our tyres to last a little bit longer while we're in this DRS train. And uh, see if DRS can help us pass them. But if not, then we'll just go up into overtake when we've got a bit of battery. Okay, so Max Verstappen has pitted. So I'm expecting some of these drivers in front of us to pit. Verstappen pits, signs pits. So Perez and Leclerc are going to be staying out. And um, it's, it's going to be great. Who's going to pit from these drivers in front? There we go. They're all coming in. Right. Here we go. Deploy. Push. Get aggressive on the tyres now. Valtteri didn't quite catch us up in time, although he is now right behind us. So can we get him to be pulled along? And then in the next lap, we'll get Bottas to give it an absolute monster push. If he can stay within DRS of Fernando Alonso, who's going to be pushing very hard, that would be very helpful. I don't think he is. No, he's not. That was a mistake. We're going to have to get both drivers to push with pretty much everything they've got to see if we can eat into this time that Perez and Leclerc have got in front because Verstappen has now pitted and is only four seconds behind us. So it's going to be very tough. Is the one stopper the thing to do in Zandvoort? Potentially it is. We're caught right up on the tail of Charles Leclerc. Fernando Alonso with some great driving. And look at that pace on those tyres. It's ridiculous. He uses all of his battery to get past him. Bottas should do the same pretty sharpish, to be honest, because we are pushing quite a lot on these. And, well, Perez pits, and Leclerc is going to pit as well. So now it's just about a case of trying to use our pace and see what we can do, because I'm going to imagine Leclerc is going to come into pit this lap. There he goes, and Bottas did get DRS. So now we have a 1-2 of the Grand Prix, but we have got to do another pit stop. So we need to really set some pace here. Gonna let both drivers just do it naturally. I don't think we need to force anything with with it, but yeah, Verstappen is yeah, he's gone to the hard. So he's gonna close us down pretty quickly. Okay, we're getting to the point now where tire wear is affecting us. Verstappen is catching us, and we need to pit pretty soon. Alonso is coming in on the next lap, so he's gonna have to uh really get this going. I think we're just gonna let Bottas go. We're gonna let Bottas go, I think. And let him do what he wants to do. Apologies if you can hear some noise. One of our guests has just arrived. Or my wife's guest has just arrived for the evening. So, um, yeah, we're going to sort of leave Alonso out as a bit of a sitting duck, I think. And we're going to get Bottas to push to try and extend that lead over Max Verstappen. Uh, Russell is in seventh. We'll come out just behind him after we pit, technically. Technically, that's where we should come out. But So, Alonso... Let's get him to give everything he's got, basically, because he's coming in to pit this lap. So, pit options onto the mediums. It did say it was quicker to go mediums. So, let's uh, let's go from there and see what he can do. I think, we, do we save this? I think we save his battery. And then we push on the next lap on his out lap. Bottas is still quicker to go softs, apparently. So, that's what we're going to go with. We'll get him to push those tyres. Bottas has used all of his battery up. It's going to be interesting. I don't know if we're going to have the pace to catch Leclerc, Sainz, Perez and Verstappen after we pit. But we are going to be on fresh tyres and we are going to be, well, uh, quicker than them on softer tyres and faster tyres, fresher tyres. So it should all be in our favour. But we need a good stop here. From, from Alonso, we do need a good stop for this to happen as Bottas is going off into the distance, which is fine. 
But uh, I can't imagine it's long until Verstappen's going to catch him. I think the one-stopper was the way to go. I think the one-stopper may have been the way to go. Just match the AI and, and go there. But the softs were dying. We committed to the soft strategy early on. And uh, it's not really paid off for us. But Alonso will be coming into pit as he comes around the high bank corner. Yeah, Verstappen is so close. Verstappen is so close to Valtteri Bottas, who has only got a couple of laps until he's in. But we need a very good stop here for Alonso. So in he goes. Love that view. Let's get a photo of that. Lovely. Um, and he's going to come out. If he can come out behind Leclerc in front of Russell, that would be absolutely lovely. There comes Leclerc. Russell is just coming around the bank corner now. I'm going to be confident here. He's going to get out in front of George Russell, which is superb. And hopefully be right on the DRS of Charles Leclerc. That is immense. That is absolutely immense. So you can push your tyres. We'll do that. In fact, let's get you into harvest while you're sitting behind Leclerc because you're going to have fresher tyres to get that done. Right, Alonso may have a chance. Alonso may have a chance. I'm going to quickly check here. Surely going onto the mediums, but pushing, is the same amount of time, apparently. What happens if we get Bottas onto softs there? See, that's six seconds slower than what we were doing. I think get him on fresher tyres earlier and push them. We're going to go soft, medium, medium. As uh, Alonso's having a look whilst on harvest, which is absolutely incredible. That shows the pace of the new tyre, which is really good. Uh, oh, let's pit Bottas this lap. Pit Bottas onto the mediums. And then if there's a safety car, we've got a fresh set of softs that we can go on as well. So Bottas coming around the bant corner. There is Verstappen. This should bring out Valtteri Bottas just behind Alonso, to be honest. Again, we need a good stop. We need a good stop here. In and a quick change. Onto those fresh set of mediums. Leclerc has got Alonso back, which is a little bit annoying. Did Alonso... Oh, no, he's right on him. We are harvesting, which is fine. And Alonso now has DRS. Bottas is coming out. Is he going to come out right into this battle? I think he is, you know. He's actually going to come out in front of them. Wow. Okay, Alonso, you can come off that. You're pushing. You've still got the fuel. Put that down to balance just for the last bit. Right, you guys... Drive away, please. Drive away. Both of them have the same fuel. In fact, we need... We actually need both of these to go, don't we? So, look. Make sure you get out of this battle. Fernando, get out of this battle with Charles Leclerc and make it done. It's holding you up, which is causing you to be slower, which is what we don't want. This is the time we should be making the pace. We should be making the pace here, Fernando. So, get that done. There we go. Right. Come on, then, boys. You've got... 7, 14, well, 16 seconds to make up. 16 seconds. That is what you've got to make up here. Hopefully, you two pull each other along with DRS as well, and we can make this work. Make it work. Come on. Okay, the gap is down to around about, I think it's 18 seconds, 14 seconds to the leader, and we are lapping at 0.8 of a second quicker than Max Verstappen, much, much quicker than Perez and Sainz, so we could... We could do this. We could pull this off, which would be absolutely incredible. Obviously, we are pushing the tyres a bit, but I think we're going to be in a pretty decent position to get this done. There is a bit of DRS leapfrogging as well, which is making us go quicker. It's sort of pulling us along. Um, occasionally, it looks like they're going to touch and get a bit close, like, like now, and Alonso just decides to drive through the wall. But that helps, because then Alonso goes in front, and he then has more pace, and it just really brings us in it really rolls up and it looks like signs and Perez are battling as well this is the sort of niggly battling we don't need so who's got the most battery Bottas has the most battery get him up into overtake get him in front I don't want to tell him not to fight because then one of them goes slower okay Alonso won that battle Bottas get into harvest and sit behind him for now like just sit sit behind him and get pulled along until the DRS point that's fine that is totally fine we don't need to push this we're in a very, very good position here. Okay, this is the DRS point. I missed, I missed the first DRS point, so that's my mistake. But we'll get, we'll just tell Bottas to overtake on the bend, which is fine. And we're gonna, oh, this, I, I don't know if it's gonna work. There's a good number of laps left. We just need to, uh, to make sure that we get this as perfect as possible. So again, come around this corner, get into deploy. I don't know if he's gonna, because he's probably going top speed, but. He is there. Is he going to get this done? No, he's not. So he can drop into Harvest again, sit behind Alonso. And then see 
see what we can do. But we're closing the gap. Alonso's now 13 seconds off Verstappen, so we are going much, much quicker. Okay, our pace has been incredible, and we're already... We've caught up to Sainz and Perez, who are losing pace to Verstappen. But if we can pass them, we're going to be in a great position here. It's just all down to Bottas. We don't have too much battery. We are charging up with Alonso for some sort of a, an assault on these guys. So he's in a, a decent position. So I think what we'll try and do is get... If we can get Alonso past Bottas... It's going to be difficult because Bottas now has DRS as well. So he's going to be ready to attack. But we do need to get a little bit more battery, I think, for Bottas. Although, look at his natural pace. Look how quickly he can maneuver and go past them. This is incredible. So, do we just let Bottas go for it? I think we have to, right? I think Bottas just has to go. Both of them just has to go for it. Let's uh, see if we can push our, push our fuel as well. We've got a bit extra in there. Yellow flag... Someone's locked up. Russell locked up. That's not very good for Mercedes, but wonderful for us. But yeah, it's a tough circuit to overtake here. And when they're too wide already in front... Oh, Bottas going around the outside. He's having a look for a very adventurous manoeuvre around the outside. Didn't quite make it work. But uh, yeah, now look at Alonso pulling in as well. They are so slow on those hard tyres. They are so slow. What can we do here? Alonso is the one having a look more than Bottas and I'm a little bit concerned four racing car drivers for four drivers as Alonso is the one that makes it stick Alonso gets the opportunity to have a go Valtteri Bottas is coming back at him though and it's there's so much squabbling this is why Verstappen has pulled away from these guys so Alonso has lost his battery we may have to just charge up behind these guys for a lap or two but we do need to get past them as we come round the banked corner, we'll have a look at Bottas here. Is he going to have enough to make it, make the move? I don't think he is. He's going to have the inside on Perez. He may force himself in, and he's going for it. Go on, Valtteri. Get your foot down. If he can get one of them, he can get both of them. There we go. Right. Deploy Valtteri. He's going to be away. He is going to be away. He needs to put that battery down and make that pace count. Bottas up into second. Right, Fernando Alonso, when you come round into the next DRS zone, we are going to get you to go like the clappers, mate. Go like the clappers. You have this little technical section where we can get a bit more battery, charged up, ready to go. And then you come round these corners. That Everyone's still going to have DRS, which is a bit of a shame. But this is where we ask Alonso to absolutely go for it. Come on. Come on, Fernando. You've got to be closer. We're going to leave it on overtake because it's so close to the next DRS zone. Right, now, it, now it's a case of can Bottas close the gap on Max Verstappen. What is... Bottas was caught in a bit of a battle. 1.10, yeah. See, the battle is really slowing us down. So come on, Fernando. You need to get this done, mate. It's on no one else but you. You need to get this done, Fernando. Put you up into deploy. Just get everything you've got. Give it everything you've got to get past these guys. Bottas is pulling away. Bottas is pulling away, which is awesome. That is what Bottas needs. He needs that fresh air. Lose these guys from DRS. Then they're sitting ducks for Alonso. As Alonso goes up the inside of Perez. Right, that's one of them. That's one of them done. Can he then get uh, Carlos Sainz as well? Not quite. Let's harvest up in this area. Don't deploy the battery that you have got in this area, Fernando. Absolutely no need to. Oh, Bottas is closing the gap on Verstappen. It's going to be close with 12 laps to go. We don't even need a second a lap. We don't need a second a lap. We j and Sainz isn't going to have DRS coming around this next bank. So it may be a driving clean air situation for Fernando Alonso. Yes, 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 your battery's dead. We know your battery's dead. But if we are lapping a second, you know, a second quicker than Verstappen... We are going to be in a position to catch him. We need to get this done with Fernando Alonso on this corner. Go on, stick it in. Get it done. Just deploy now. Deploy off this corner. Bottas has gone, and that's what we need. That is what we need Fernando Alonso to do. And he is trying his hardest, bless him. He's up into third. It's two podium positions again, this one here. And uh, it's all going to come down to... If Fernando can catch, re-catch up Bottas and get in the DRS and get pulled along with Bottas, 
What was Bottas' lap time there? A 109.8. It's nearly a second quicker. It's nearly a second quicker than Verstappen, which means we will catch him by the end of this race. <sighs> this is gonna be this is gonna be awesome. What an end we're set up for here. Oh my word, we've got a safety car. We have a safety car. Right at the end of the race. I mean, surely we pit for softs. We will lose positions. We will lose positions. Um I think we'll come out behind Leclerc, but surely we pit for softs and we just go for this. Surely we get onto those fresh tyres. It's right towards the end. Because you can go rapid on those softs. We are going to do it, and we are going to double stack them as well. So... Both of them are now going to go on to softs. Push, push, push. Update the strategy. Where where are we? Oh, yeah, we're just going to be in a prime position to pit as well. Right, soft, the freshest soft tyres we have. Pit this lap. And the freshest soft tyres we have. Pit this lap. So, it should... Right, let's just make sure here. On to soft tyres. Soft tyres. Yeah, soft tyres. Confirm this change. Pit, pit options. Soft tyres. Confirm this change. Oh my, as if we've got a safety car now. As if we've got a safety car. Is Verstappen going to pit? Is Verstappen going to pit? No, he stays out. He stays out. This is really interesting. Bottas comes round. He comes into pit. Bottas is pitting. Oh, and that, a safety car. Albon is, is out. Albon's the one that's caused the safety car. Bottas in. Alonso in. Onto the softs. And a, a lovely little double quick change there. Right. Now, where is the safety? So the safety car is out. So, safety car is out. Pit stop complete. Let's not go too quick here. We're in fifth and sixth on fresh tyres. None of them pitted. They're on used hards. We pitted from second and third, right? Second and third. Okay, so lapped cars now may overtake. So, there'll be a lot of unlapping themselves here. And the safety car is coming in. Push push oh we had him on deploy the whole time oh well um deploy i think they automatically don't deploy a push push and deploy we'll get on board with valtteri who is closest to the leaders the safety car isn't in yet i think you go around the bank corner don't you and then it comes in i think yeah so it goes around the bank corner and look at bottas there right on the back of charles leclerc Normal racing conditions. We're on fresh tyres. Verstappen and Perez. It's two Red Bulls, two Ferraris, two Aston Martins. What can we do here? Four laps to go. And we are on fresh, soft tyres. We're basically setting four qualifying laps. That's what we're asking our team to do. They didn't pit. They wanted the, rate, the uh, track position. And Bottas is already having a look. And he's already got Charles Leclerc. On the first, basically, corner... He's already got Charles Leclerc, as has Alonso as well. If they don't pull away... Oh, why didn't Verstappen pit? He was nine seconds in front. Verstappen was nine seconds in front of us. He really should have pitted for fresh tyres. But we need to make this work. I think we should probably go into television road, right? It's going to be pretty dramatic. So, tyres are moderately overheating. We're trying to have a look and trying to get round people as there goes Valtteri Bottas has got Carlos Sainz as well he's back into third Fernando Alonso is trying to have a look at Carlos Sainz as well you just see him behind we're going to focus on Bottas here because he is the one in prime position to make something happen he's getting the slipstream off Perez biding his time there's still no DRS yet so that's probably going to suit Verstappen but Bottas couldn't make his move there. Alonso can't get past Charles Leclerc. 
Right, up into overtake. Let's go into overtake, see if that makes a difference. See if they use it a bit more uh, liberally in the positions that they should. Alonso is through. Alonso's through and Bottas is having a look at Sergio Perez. It's a frantic end to the uh, Dutch Grand Prix. The two Aston Martin drivers are sort of fighting with each other. Oh, Perez is getting boxed in. Alonso's looking around the... Uh, Bottas, sorry, looking around the outside. Max Verstappen making that car as wide as possible, but Valdry Bottas is through and up to second, and he's got Max Verstappen in his sights. Max Verstappen is there. Are we going to get DRS in the last two laps? That is what's going to be awesome. Bottas is up into first as we see him drive over the camera, which is an amazing view. Bottas is leading the Dutch Grand Prix. That is incredible. Hopefully DRS doesn't kick in now because Verstappen's going to benefit from it. But Bottas in the lead of the Dutch Grand Prix. Give it everything you've got, Valtteri. Come on, Alonso. You can get you can get up into position. DRS is enabled on this lap. Of course it is. Of course it blooming well is. But we should have the pace to pull away from Max Verstappen because of his used hard tyres. And Fernando Alonso is now having a look. Let's go back to Alonso. Alonso going around the outside of Sergio Perez. Can he get it done? He can get it done. Next up in his sights. Oh, that's I've clicked on the wrong one. Overtake there. We want you to push with everything you've got. You're in the front, Bottas. I was getting my first and second drivers mixed up. But Bottas is nearly a second ahead of Verstappen. He's got to just get around these corners. He is a second ahead. Verstappen isn't going to have DRS. Alonso is going to have DRS. Let's just jump on board with Fernando Alonso here. Get into the DRS. Driving clean air. Driving clean air. Driving clean air. Oh, come on, Fernando. You needed to do that earlier. You need to do that earlier. Vest Bottas is gone. He's 1.5 seconds ahead of Max Verstappen. We're still going to keep him in overtake, although his battery is dead. Whatever battery he gets, just deploy it. Verstappen goes defensive. It's the last lap and Valtteri Bottas is two seconds ahead. And Alonso is through as well. Is this going to be a monumental 1-2 for Aston Martin? The pit strategy under safety car could work wonders here as Alonso is through and is leaving Verstappen for dead. Right, Bottas into neutral. We're going to have enough fuel to get this one done. Alonso is... Oh my word. Valtteri Bottas out in front on the soft tyres. What a decision to pit under safety car. This is superb. Is Verstappen going to have enough under DRS to get it done? He's already half a second behind. Alonso goes around this corner and Verstappen gets DRS. So this is where Alonso really needs to push it. At the moment, Bottas is getting the fastest lap, which I think is duly deserved being out in front. But uh, Alonso is nearly broken that second. We are going to be totally fine here. It's just the drivers to bring it home. Come on, Valtteri. Round the bank corner to end the Dutch Grand Prix with another 1-2 finish for Aston Martin this season. This is incredible. Valtteri Bottas wins the Dutch Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso comes home second ahead of the two Red Bulls. Verstappen, Perez, Sainz and Leclerc fifth and sixth. Gasly seventh, Russell eighth, Norris ninth and Vettel is the top ten. Wow. What an end to this race. Thank you Alex Albon for causing that safety car. I've always liked him. What a legend. Come on! What a race here in Holland as it's a 1-2 for Aston Martin. Valtteri Bottas will get the plaudits for finishing first. He, he qualified higher. He's finished higher. We have two absolutely cracking drivers here. Valtteri Bottas is pulling out all the stops with Aston Martin and you love to see it. There's Fernando Alonso on the podium. Valtteri Bottas enjoying life and Max Verstappen has to just settle for third place in his home Grand Prix. And uh, there is Valtteri Bottas taking the winner's trophy. Love it. There you go. Valtteri up two positions to win it with the fastest lap as well. Fernando Alonso up three places to second in the Drivers' Championship. Fernando Alonso goes second in the Drivers' Championship. Valtteri Bottas climbs to fourth. In the Constructors, we overtake Ferrari and find ourselves less than 50 points behind uh, Red Bull. What a weekend. What a weekend then. Lovely, lovely stuff. A first and second finish. Next up is Monza, which should really suit our car as well. Um, 
Card development is looking all right. Financial report, board checking, they're going to love us. ATR period starts today, so we'll get some more stuff going there. Uh, race overview, and congratulations. They are delighted with that win. Superb. Four days until the race in Monza. We'll be back at for the next episode. Well, we've got some development points. We'll do those in the next episode as well. But thank you so much for watching. See you in a bit. Cheers. A one, two, come on.